Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to call get orders API for admin in React.js application. So let's get started. First of all, let me open here the Node.js application. So as you can see, the order service. Inside this service, we have the function with the name get orders. Inside this function, I'm going to update this query where we have to get the user with the orders. So the query that we have populate and the parameter name that we have user. Now let me open here the React.js application. As you can see, the customer service. So I'm going to copy this function. Let me add this function inside the admin service. Update the function name that we have, get orders. Inside this function, we have a try and the catch pull lock. Inside the try lock, we have to call that point from Node.js application. We are mapping that we have, get URL that we have, slash API, slash admin, slash order. And we have to return the response after getting it. The catch will catch the exception in case of API failing, and we have to throw the error. Now, after that, let me copy the code from my orders component. So, as you can see, the use state for orders and the loading. After that, we have the functions fetch orders and the format list add date. We have to copy this use effect as well. So, let me copy this. Let me add inside the view orders component. Let me copy these imports as well. Let me add on the top of the view orders function. So as you can see, the function that we have fetch orders inside this, we have a try catch and the finally block inside the trouble block. Let me call the function form the admin service that we have get orders. After getting the order, we have to check the status. If a status to double zero, then we have to set the orders. Now after that, let me copy the HTML code. Let me add inside the view orders component. So as you can see, the table cell inside the table head where we have a tracking ID, amount, description, address and the list add. With this, I'm going to add another table cell with the caption name. After the table head, we have a tag for a table body. Inside this, we are calling here the use state that we have orders. From this use state, we have to get the order one by one. After getting it, we have to show the order details. First, we have to show here the tracking ID. Second, we have to show here the username. As you can see, a tag for our table cell. Inside this, we are showing here the user first name and the last name. After that, we have to show here amount, order description, address, and the place at date. Now you can take a look of view orders component. Let's navigate to the browser. As you can see, the table of the orders. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can document. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.